Today, we ask the question, can we take the worst fighter in Crusader Kings tours and tournaments? Yeah, I'm talking about you, buddy. You jammable pinky finger of a human. <coughs> Excuse me. Where was I? Oh yeah, can we take the worst fighter and turn them into an unstoppable, unstubbable thumb of a fighter? A fighter not with zero prowess, but something cool like a million. Calm down there, McWeenie. You still got zero. And because you're such a bad fighter, it really pisses off your paw. And just who is his da? That's Angus McWeenie, a skilled fighter in his day, possessing 34 prowess. So our hero's journey takes us to Scotland. And let's go ahead and meet our brave hero. Here we have Duke Mingus of the fabled Clan McWeenie. A man-child I refer to so much as a hot dog that I probably should have made him a Frank. Marcus. But this newborn Frankfurter isn't just a weak, club-footed whatever. He's also brave, whole of body, a brilliant strategist, and a journaler because, well, we still had some points. But who cares about that? Let's dive into this human pencil of an adventure and play as the weakling Duke Mingus with zero prowess. But don't worry, we're gonna change that because just by thinking about chivalry, we grow stronger by three and our neck grows larger. So here we have King Malcolm, the big headed. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and change our contract with him because we wanna demand a spot on the council. And while it makes sense that we might want the prowess boost and be the marshal, what we really want is that sweet, sweet McWeenie gold to be flowing into our McWeenie coffers. Let me explain. Tournaments equals good. All right, I'm not gonna do that in this video, actually. We wanna fight in as many tournaments as we can and host them, but they're really expensive. By fighting, we'll get good traits, and by money, we'll get more tournaments. And maybe then we can prove to our da we can fight. And we're gonna need to host because it's barren out there. So we'll keep an eye on any tournaments that might pop up. And eventually we want to build buildings like blacksmiths, something that will lower the price of tournaments when we hold them. But for right now, we got to stick to the old adage. To make McWeenie bucks, you got to spend McWeenie bucks. As a side note, for the time being, we're not going to get married. We just want to fight. Oh, and who's this little friendly guy? Oh, an invitation to a hunt. That reminds me of Mama. Duke Mingus's grandmother. Mama McWeenie, a fierce warrior hunter with 46 prowess and a chin that could house a family of four. Old Grandma Mama taught us that by hunting, we can grow strong. But she also taught us that the road may be perilous. So we'll go ahead and hire some mercenary guards to get us there faster too. And so we embark on our first bit of action. But wait, wait a second. What's that? What's that you see, Mingus? A duel. Gamal wants to fight us, and if we win, he'll join our company as a knight. Well, Gamal, you might be a little less valuable. We lost. I'm sorry, da. Yeah, well, whatever. We made it to the hunt. That's what matters. Sort of. And just look at this guest list. The king's here, the prince. Let's get out there. We're cornering the row. Let's go. And we lost it. But there's more to hunt. And just look at these fearsome warriors. King Malcolm, Duke Mayo Snicktie, Prince Bow's in the way, and Mingus. Mingus Mc... We failed. We failed ourselves. We failed our daw. We failed our ma. But we got the base trait for Hunter, and that's plus one prowess. So we're a little bit stronger, baby. So let's go back home because uh, apparently this guy absolutely hates being outside. I think it makes sense to make a marriage alliance. We need to protect ourselves in case somebody declares war on us. Duke William's very strong. But no. No, I know what this wet diaper needs. What he needs? Is a beaut. He needs to defend his borders, but he also needs to not have kids with such skinny weenie heads like his own. So we're gonna go ahead, marry him to the only eligible beaut out there, Frederinda. Whoa, mama! Check out that power stance. She could teach McWeenie a thing or two. And with her not being a hot dog, 
the hopes are that someday their children won't be hot dogs either. While we're on the marriage train, we're going to go ahead and get a new spy master. And look what we have here. The most sinister looking lady out there. And actually the most sinister lady out there too. Well, I don't know who you are, guy, but I hope your marriage is just fantastic. And our hope is that William the Cocker wins his wars, makes a lot of money, and then he and his nobles throw lots of sweet tournaments for us to win. It's time to improve our prowess by commissioning an artifact. But what should we make? Oh, what's this? An axe? That reminds me of the legendary warrior McWeenie, the fabled, beautiful, mustached Magnus McWeenie with his 72 prowess. Like our greatest ancestor, we too aim to wield the axe. It's a maze. No worries. It's not the type of weapon that matters, but rather the weenie who wields it. And this weenie just got a perk. A perk that adds four prowess. And as our prowess grows, our neck grows. And our neck says our total's eight now. And our bishop counselor died. And what's this guy? Joe Parkin? Sounds like a dude you'd meet in a coffee shop. A new bishop with an eye patch, AKA the best character in the game. Look at this guy. I would totally want to run into him in a dark alley. He's awesome. And we've got a pretty good fighter. So I think what we're going to do is create an accolade. From here on out, this knight will be known as the legendary Sword of McWeenie. And just as we create the Sword of McWeenie, the sturdy Mace of McWeenie. No, 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 no. Let's rename that. Mace. The Mace. No. The Glorious Mace of McWeenie. And though we have the most legendary weapon ever forged, we still can't find a tournament to use it in. How will McWeenie become the greatest fighter if he can't fight? But he doesn't even care. Because his wife's pregnant. Just look at him. Unfortunately, if this vassal dies, we lose his land to some outside bro. And we can't have that happen. So we're going to have to take it. And man, that was a quick pregnancy. Good job. Oh, we had a little butte baby. No thanks to this mutant Slim Jim. Nevertheless, we're going to name her after her pa. Her da. We'll name her Minga. And then we're going to deck Minga out in some armor. Because this is a warrior family and she will fight. That baby will fight. Now that our child's properly clothed, we can go ahead and steal the rest of this guy's land. But he didn't like it and we're going to have to fight for it. Come on, baby. Fight. And we've suffered a wound. Oh, that angers us. That disappoints our ancestors. But we're still winning. All we have to do is besiege this before they besiege that. It's a race. It's a mace. We won. But we're wounded. We paid a price for this victory. And our ancestors laughed at us. But he's in prison, so eh, fair trade. And finally, we build blacksmiths to get a reduction on hosting tournaments. And apparently our wife was pregnant. And we didn't know. Demetrius is a strong sounding name for a McWeenie boy. Oh, and William the Conqueror took all of England. So hopefully we're gonna see some tournaments in there. Look what we have here, another martial perk. Now what we really want is gallant. Gallant's like a license to print, uh, it's like a license to print babies. Wait, no, no, no. Our wife is printing babies. Oh, she's printing two at a time. It's gonna get a little pricey. So naturally, we'll have Joe Parkin raise them. Because if Joe Parkin, the one-eyed bishop, is raising our kids, they're gonna be awesome. And to make our necks just a little bit bigger, we're gonna go ahead and commission some chain mail. Flexible. 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 Oh, and this guy's donating to the cause. Thanks, guy. Apparently, Joe Parkin has some secrets. Let's break into his room and find out what he's hiding. As I rummage through his things, Joe sleeps like a babe. We find the letter and realize that he's a non-believer. That just makes him even cooler. And on top of it all, he's considerate. So we've had some flexible McWeenie mail made for us. It's not very good, but our prowess is up to 18. the game informs us is excellent but still not a single tournament seriously it's been 10 years 10 years our little pinky finger hero is turning into a pointer finger mingus keeps getting older 
and his wife just keeps getting more pregnant. At least we were invited to another hunt. And you know what? We don't need any mercenary guards. Because we're tough. Oh, and Mingus is blowing the horn of McWeenie. You know what that means? A duel. 43% chance we win, but I feel it. Let's make him less valuable. We lost. We lost again. But it's all right, family members. Because we're hunting. We're slaying the beast. And we're not gonna laugh. Stop laughing, guy. And he's picking flowers. Stop picking flowers. Stop picking flowers and get back on your horse. Here it is, we're cornering the hare. Be prepared to be cornered, hare. I can feel it. I, oh. I know how you feel, big guy. You feel just like that little guy. Ashamed. But still, we're not gonna let that get us down. We're just gonna bury our tears in the Pope's gold. Thanks, Pope. And, ugh. Whoa, close call. Almost choked on some delicious Pope gold. And even though it's barren, no tournaments, it's okay. Because we're going to have one right at home. Goodbye, Bye. Pope Gold. Really, we can only afford one contest. But we're having a melee. A melee. And we're fighting to win this. We're fighting for triumph. I think we'll do decent accommodations. And good prizes. Never mind, fine prizes. Not enough Pope Gold. So let's start this grand tournament. And what? We may not qualify for our own tournament. I thought this was gonna be like the World Cup. The host, Duke, gets automatic. Yeah. And even though we may not qualify, apparently we're favored to win. Once again, I'm assuming it's World Cup rules. We're the host nation. Home field advantage, baby. So let's do it. Let's kick off the 1079 World Cup. There's no time to lose. Lose? Lose? That's a word that Mingus hates. Because he's never lost. He's never lost once ever. You think we won't qualify game? We'll show you. We'll go to the artisan. And look at that. Look at that. Have you looked? 75% chance we increase our score and increase our armor. I hope you looked. Because we did it. And now we're on course to qualify. I told you, world. Watch out. When you get a hot dog rolling downhill, get out of the way. Because that hot dog might just be hosting the World Cup. See, he can't be stopped. Not so long as his trusty artisan's on his side. Let's improve this mace. Oh, man. It's already plus seven. Plus two? That's, that's a really good weapon. Do my eyes deceive me? Why is it only plus eight? Whatever, we're at 19 now. But no, we got a new trait. We're at 20 now. And the melee begins. Glory will be the host nations. And Mingus has a chance to sabotage the other combatants. But no, Mingus fights with honor. Plus he'd probably get caught. But enough about that. There's a lost lass on the battlefield. Mingus. What will you do? Hold tight, my dear. That's not a Scottish accent. That was like a Schwarzenegger impression or something. Stop distracting me. Oh my god. Mingus is cornered. That lass has thrown him off. Maybe it was my s terrible accent. I don't know. I gotta stop doing accents. Luckily, Mingus could take all three. No, I'm just kidding. He absolutely would like die or something. I don't know. But he's not doing that. Now have at them. Not sure who that is, but it's fine. We're going into the fray. The shadows loom long as the battle wears on. We will win a human hot dog's victory. Here it is, the final blows. It's impossible to call which side is closest to prevailing, which means we might win. We're so tiny. We have so much heart. One more push. <laughs> actually drink out of cups. I thought they drank out of their butt chins. That's right, we won the World Cup, something even your favorite soccer star, Kevin Lasagna, hasn't done yet. 
The Duke is unbeatable. The prize is merely meh, but we paid for it. And I think Mingus is going to say some words. The victories keep rolling in. So we've hosted and won our first tournament now. As a result, our glory is widely known. And soon it will be no near the most knownest. So that's where we leave it for now. Sitting at 20 prowess, up from zero. And we're aiming to increase these traits. Because once we do, our broken pinky of a boy will turn into the unjammable thumb. The uncookable frank with an unchoppable tree trunk of a neck. And please, viewers, <laughs> all of you, <laughs> the fluvies to my defluve YouTube channel. Leave comments of what I should call this loose spaghetti noodle in the next episodes, because I'm running out of ideas. And also, I want you to be a part of this weenie adventure as well.